Hey, it's Rachel, and I'm coming at you from my extremely messy bedroom in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm Jane, and I'm coming to you from Huntsville, Alabama. Good morning, Panthers. As Mr. Fusto wrote his email yesterday, our traditions and school rituals matter. And even though our campus may be closed, our school and our community is open 24-7, 365. Jaden and I are excited to bring you this special assembly today. Typically, we always have a few visitors to our weekly assemblies. This week, we are welcoming our families all over the USA and the globe. Our embrace pillar means that we always make visitors feel welcome. We would like for all our guests to please stand up and be recognized. Welcome, welcome. This week, we have a special guest speaker here to share her passion with all of us and tell us about how she lives her favorite Panther pillar. Please welcome Mrs. Charlottetan. Hi, everyone. For those that don't know me, my name is Allison Charnatan, and I'm the Director of Communications here at Brandon Hall. And I really wish that I could be talking to all of you in person right now like I had originally planned. Unfortunately, that's not the case. I've always been a big advocate about facing your fear, and that's why I had voluntarily decided to speak on stage at what would have been today's assembly, because public speaking is terrifying to me. Now, instead, I'm having to speak to a camera, but I'm still here in our auditorium trying to emulate that on-stage experience for our first ever virtual assembly. Regardless, overcoming this fear of being on stage, whether I'm talking to an actual audience or just to my camera, ties in well with what I wanted to talk to all of you about today. One day over lunch, Mr. Fusto found out I have a very unusual passion in life, and he thought it would be fun for me to talk about it in an assembly. And I agree, because I can talk for hours and hours about this hobby, which is theme parks and roller coasters. That said, since I'm still working on this fear of talking in front of audiences and cameras alike, I use my interest in film and video editing to put together a video to help me explain it for you a little better. Take a look. Hey guys, my name is Matt. Hello everybody, my name is Grace. Hey, my name is Mark. Hi, my name is Andrew. Hello, my name is Marcus. Hi, I'm Hutch. And I am a coaster enthusiast. I'm a coaster enthusiast from Dallas, Texas, home of Six Flags Over Texas, where I am currently. I am from Detroit, Michigan. I live in Columbus, Ohio. I currently live in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm in Sandusky, Ohio right now, and over my shoulder right here is Cedar Point. It's a really cool, big amusement park. I started riding coasters when I was 13 years old. I've loved roller coasters since I was a kid growing up in Ohio. I've been a coaster enthusiast my entire life. I've been into it for now over 20 years, honestly my entire life. I was absolutely terrified of them. When I first got into this hobby, it was mainly about curiosity. It was actually the classic video game, Roller Coaster Tycoon, that got me interested in roller coasters. I wanted to know more about like how rides worked. 
all the different types of rides out there. I eventually got myself to get on a roller coaster. It wasn't until last summer that I went out on a limb and met up with a bunch of really cool other people like me. And then going online and meeting other people who like riding roller coasters and building friendships out of it. I joined Coaster Force in 2013. This allowed me to get out of my comfort zone a lot. It absolutely changed my life. Joining a group like Coaster Force was was, was life-changing in a lot of ways. It takes this outrageous passion and brings together hundreds and even thousands of like-minded people from all around the world. That's how Allison and I met, uh, actually years ago at this point. Meet a whole bunch of new people, interact with people through the internet, meet them at parks, get to know them better. I made a ton of friends like Allison who uh, I talk to every day now. I got to meet people that I never thought I would ever meet. I've met Tons and tons of friends. I have friends all over the world who are into it. And honestly, a lot of those people became lifelong friends of mine. Friends that I've known for decades now. I'm, a, I'm an old man. Theme parks and roller coasters provide an opportunity to bring all of us back together again. And obviously, we plan a lot of trips to go ride roller coasters together. I really embraced roller coasters from an aspect of, what do I want to do with my life? I was able to get on an airplane, and now I'm a captain at an airline. I actually get to help cities plan out how they're gonna buy electric vehicles. If you're really passionate about something, embrace that passion and don't be afraid to share it with others. Follow your passion, because it could change your life. Think about what you're learning, what you do well, and how that might transcribe to other things that you're into too. Honestly, it's all because I took this deep dive into this hobby. It's really changed your life in ways you couldn't really understand when you first did it. And it's completely changed my life forever. Well, thank you for watching and hope you guys have a good rest of the day. How many of you watching this love roller coasters? You'll ride everything that was in that video without a second thought. It was about 20 years ago when I finally overcame my fear of roller coasters. Just like my friend Grace in the video, I used to be absolutely terrified of them. When I finally convinced myself to overcome that fear and ride my first real roller coaster, I started researching everything that I could about them, always trying to learn more. I'm just a researcher by nature, and I collected every item possible that related to roller coasters. My dad once told me when I was younger it was just a face, and I guess it's safe to say that wasn't really the case. Whenever people find out that I'm really into roller coasters, I get a lot of questions and comments about how unusual of a hobby it is, because it's not one that you really hear about very often. But there are so many of us in the world with this passion, and those were just a few of my friends with this hobby who actually sent me videos of themselves for this presentation, which I'm super grateful for. And Andrew, who you saw, was originally planning to come to Atlanta tonight for a weekend of theme parks with us. While those plans were sadly canceled, I know that we'll be scheduled to make them happen as soon as we can. So many of my friendships revolve around this hobby. Our next big trip was coming up in May, where we would be going to Texas to meet up with the same group of friends that you saw in this video. Again, sadly, those plans are most likely shifting to after theme parks reopen. But even so, it's more than just a trip to ride roller coasters. To me, it's a family reunion, which is what the countdown to the trip on my phone is still saved as now. I may not get to ride my 300th roller coaster this year like I was hoping to, but I will get there soon enough. And yes, I do actually have a detailed spreadsheet listing every roller coaster I've ever ridden. So you might be asking, what does this have to do with Brandon Hall? Well, the Panther Pillar of Embrace is about welcoming strangers as guests. In my eyes, a stranger doesn't have to be an actual person. The stranger could be something more abstract, like a new interest or something that just piques your curiosity that you don't know much about yet. Maybe you heard someone mention an activity in passing, or you came across a post online about it. Or maybe, like me, you have to overcome a fear to experience something new that you end up falling in love with. When you find something that you enjoy, embrace it. I know I did when I realized that I was so passionate about roller coasters, and now I have really strong bonds with people who enjoy the same thing as I do. And that connection between people is so incredibly powerful. You might have an interest in something that you think nobody else in the world could possibly be interested in too. Well, that's probably not the case. When I first got into this hobby, I knew people enjoyed roller coasters, but I had no idea about the massive online communities that existed, even outside of the one that I became a part of. Try to find those people, even if it's not in person right this moment, because the world is telling you to social distance. Simply put, being stuck at home right now stinks. I promise I'm feeling it too, as I watch all of my favorite theme parks remain closed for an indefinite amount of time. But there are also so many ways to get into a new passion while you're staying inside away from others. Find an online message board like I did when I found Coaster Force. Look for downloadable books to learn more about it. Find someone's Instagram who's super involved in that hobby. 
And when society returns to some normalcy and we can enjoy all of our hobbies once again to the fullest, you'll be ready to embrace that hobby 110%. Because I can say from experience, and I know all of my friends in the video will agree, that finding those people who embrace similar experiences can truly change your life. Thank you so much for watching. During challenging and crazy times like the COVID-19 pandemic, life can be made easier if we do everything we can to stay connected as a community. So be on the lookout for these following events. Every day we will continue to send out Panther Nation daily inspiration emails, videos, motivational quotations, wellness challenges, and other surprises. Take the time to read these and respond. Let us know you are all out there and doing okay. This coming week is our virtual spirit week. You will be getting more information about this in an email. Have fun, share your spirit, stay positive.